of my childhood In the evening when everything was still I used to listen to the fox hounds With my dad in the old Kentucky hills I'm on my way back to the old home That road winds on up the hill But there's no light in the window That shines on the door where I live Hey guys, tonight we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at the island. We're standing in front of the Yeehaw Brewery. Now the reason we're talking about that, we're gonna go in there and show you this giant pretzel that we have gotten before. And I don't know if a lot of you guys know they even sell that here, but they serve some other food. We'll show you the menu, maybe order a couple more items off of that. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here's what we're going in here for. Try the island's biggest Pretzel. All right, guys, let's look at the menu here at the Yeehaw Brewing Company at the island. Chips and pick your dips. You can add some salsa for a dollar or some guacamole or beer cheese for a dollar fifty. What we came here for was the huge barbarian soft pretzel for $9.99. You have some all beef hot dogs, boneless wings, Frito pie. We were going to get that. They were out of chili chicken salad sandwich that's what Bobby's getting fried cheese curds have some loaded curly fries and a dessert pretzel with cinnamon sugar on it and cream cheese dipping sauce well out in the cold world and far away from home some mother's boy is wandering all alone search till you find him and make his footsteps right some mother's boy is homeless tonight oh bring back to me guys let's look at this pretzel you have some beer cheese and beer mustard you see all the butter that is on that ten dollars can't complain about that it looks nice like a smiley face that's what it looks like to me so let's tear a piece open oh man nice crispiness to the outside a lot of salt and that is very hot I'm gonna have to wait about two or three minutes before I can eat that I think I could probably eat it now, but look at all that butter down in there. There's the insides of it. Let's go with this mustard first. Stone ground mustard there. Has a strong, spicy brown mustard taste with a hint of beer, but it blends in well with that butter and that soft pretzel. Leave in the comments, who likes the soft pretzels or you like the hard pretzels? Let's just go one more bite on this. Now, I really like this brown mustard, but you're going to have to like spicy brown mustard to like that. That's usually what comes with these soft pretzels. Let's go and do a little bit of this beer cheese on this. Quite a bit on there. Now that beer cheese, you do get a little hint of the beer, not a strong flavor of beer. It's very creamy, nice flavor to it. I'm going to go right in here in the middle because I like the thin piece. Try the cheese first mix it up some it's been sitting there for a little bit so it doesn't always look good when it's set there we go okay 
cheese, so that is very, a very creamy, cheesy cheese, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's just a thick cheese. Try the mustard. All right, so I'm not really a fan of the brown mustard. It's almost too grainy flavor to me or something. I'd go with the cheese. Or you could just eat the pretzel by itself. It's nice buttery flavor, plenty of salt on it, nice and soft in the inside. Me, it looks like they toasted the croissant a little too much. Got dried cranberries, some pecans, and I think some celery. The back of it. Now I like this. Um, I think they put plenty of chicken salad on there. The cranberries give it a nice sweet flavor. It's creamy. But I'm gonna say if I had to make this. I would put it on a roll without toasting. I'm going to try the chicken salad sandwich. Definitely been toasted. Pretty crisp. Now that's not a bad chicken salad sandwich, but I've had a lot better ones than that. I agree with Bobby. Shouldn't be toasted. I think it would be better if it wasn't. But it's okay. I probably would not get this. I like the pretzel better. And we have some chips and salsa. But again, look at this pretzel. They put a lot of salt on there. So like Bobby said, you could eat that if you didn't like these two. It's a pretty decent size. All right, let's try some chips and salsa. Well, the salsa and chips are basically just out of a bag. I've had this salsa before. I bought it, it's out of a jar. I can't figure out which brand it is. It's not a mild, it's more of a medium, closer to a hot, but it is good. Just food to go along with your beer if you come here to order, or you're just wanting some chips and salsa, because we got chips and salsa or nachos down here at this other stand one time, and they were terrible and stale. This stuff is not stale, it tastes pretty fresh. All right, I'm gonna try this to see how spicy it really is. It did give you a lot of uh, chips though. I don't know what brand chips these are, but they're very good. They're fresh. Um, the sauce is probably a little too spicy for me, but I could uh, put in some of that cheese over there. And you can order the cheese with it if you don't want okay. the, the salsa. All right, guys, let's look at our receipt here at the island at Yeehaw Brewery. Pretzel and beer cheese, $9.99. Salsa was a dollar extra to add on to the basket of chips. Bobby's chicken salad sandwich, $8.99. And Bobby got a bottled Coke. Grand total, $30.65.
blues looking at a few shirts bobby always liked to come in in here look at this one a lot of the old school bands on there i grew up with there's rat ted nugent bad company some guns and roses zz boston ronnie james dio motorhead sticks just tons of them oh, skid robot well, bobby was looking at this aerosmith shirt mm -hmm. what do you think of that I like this one. It's very comfortable. Have to show this shirt again. Saw it last time we were down here. Had the Bigfoot sighting. But look who's with him. Elvis. Had to stop in here to look at the Funkos. Don't see a lot of new ones, but I do see one I like. I like this Rob Halford one from Judas Priest. And we have this one. Billy Gibbons, ZZ Top. Came inside the Five and Dime, some bubblegum cigarettes and the old cigarette candy that all you guys out there used to get. Who remembers these? These little bubblegum nuggets. Coconut, sugar babies, caramels, coconut patties, some milk duds. A lot of other different old school ones in here. Some of these you can still get on a lot of different places. Here's some gums. You guys remember all those? Remember getting this, the Fruity Stripes. Don't say I remember any of these here in the front on this. I think this is the quietest I've ever seen this place. I know, it's dead. Only time it was more quiet than this when we were Staying up in one of those places. We stayed here at Margaritaville in the morning when there was nobody out mm -hmm. here. It was nice. Did that on the off season. You can get some pretty decent rates for that hotel. Otherwise, it's a very expensive place to stay. Well, we just left Yeehaw Brewery after trying their giant pretzel. What did you think about it? When you first get there, you go in and you order your food. They give you a number and they'll bring it out to your seat. So I wanted to give a shout out to the staff. Now I got the chicken salad. That was it the best I've ever had, no, but it was all right. It did have the dried cranberries in it that gave it the sweet flavor. Now I didn't like that they toasted the croissant. I just wish they would have left it plain. But I did enjoy the pretzel. That was probably my favorite thing. You didn't really need the cheese or the mustard i don't think because it had a nice buttery flavor to it with the salt nice place to relax listen to some music watch the kids on the rides and just people watch so i had a good evening because it's beautiful out here tonight yeah i'm gonna agree with bobby about the pretzel the more i ate that mustard the more i didn't like it i liked it at first but after a while it just kind of wore off the flavor <laughs> just didn't taste that good i did like the beer cheese but for me probably just eating it with just the salt on it and the buttery taste is the way to go you know, we had the chips and salsa. That was just bag chips and salsa, even though it was good bag mm -hmm. chips and salsa. Fresh. Bobby's croissant chicken salad, eh, not worth $9. But this is a brewery, but they do have food. We just wanted to make you aware of that in case you wanted something to eat. They have chicken wings and other items. But the main reason to stop here, besides getting the brew, would be to try their giant pretzel for $10. I think that's a pretty good deal. I do too. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left the building.